third is creating and solving inequalities. This is just like uh, creating and solving equations, but uh, inequalities are the less thans and greater thans and all that stuff. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. If you go there, you'll see uh, this site right here. Okay, so if we went to mrmathblog.com, you'd see that site. Now, um, uh, so you'd click this integrated math site right here, and it would take you to that. And this is where you can find all your lessons right there. Okay. If you wanted to, you know, when you're taking any of the other math classes, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Stats, uh, Calculus, that's all here also up here. So even fourth grade and other stuff up here. Anyways, let's get back to this, you guys. So, so here's some uh, math functions, you guys. So we have uh, symbols and phrases that you'll see. So if you see an equal sign, you guys, you'll see things like is or is equal to is the same as okay we already did some of that if you see a, a less than you'll see is less than or is fewer than um, less than or equal to you'll see wording such as is less than or equal to uh, at most uh, or no more than that would uh, be if you saw any of those phrases right here then it would be this okay greater than or equal to or, I'm sorry greater than is just uh, greater than or more than so if you see those phrases and finally greater than or equal to is is, is greater than or equal to at least or no less than so if you see any of these phrases here we're going to use these kind of symbols over here okay all right so here's a big fat word problem Let's see if we can break it down nor is planning a birthday party for her little sister colleen Nora's budget will allow her to spend no more than fifty dollars for party supplies Eight kids, including Colleen, will attend the party, and Noah uh, wants to determine how much she could spend on party favors for each of the uh, child. For each child, uh, so she she also wants to purchase a cake for ten dollars. Okay, so we're going to write an inequality that represents this and find all possible solutions. Okay, so they set it up for us, and they tell us that uh, to let C represent the cost. Uh, of a party favor for each child and then write an expression for the total cost using C. Okay, so this uh, this box with C right here means something times C. Well, this something is going to be, where is that thing? I'm looking for that. It says something about eight kids, including Colleen. Right here, eight kids. So this is going to be eight right here. Now we're going to have to add in that the cake that we purchased right here. So we're going to have to add in that $10 right there. Okay. And then, so, uh, which inequality symbol should be used to represent the phrase no more than? Okay, well, let's go back to this right here. No more than right here is going to be this symbol right here, less than or equal to. So it's going to be a less than or equal to right there. Okay, so write an inequality that represents Nora's budget. Okay, so here's her cost, 8C plus 10, less than or equal to, and our total spending money is going to be this $50 right here. All right, so that's what we're going to solve. So suppose Nora, Nora finds party favors that cost $4. Uh, so use a value of 4. Sorry about my typo right there. Use a value of 4 for C and check to see if this inequality is true. Okay, so we're just plugging in 4 right here. So 8 times 4 is 32. And then 32 plus 10 is 42. Is 42 less than or equal to 50? You bet. So is this inequality true? Yes. All right, so could Nora buy uh, six party favors for all her guests without going over? Or six dollar party favors, sorry. So we're going to uh, uh, put in six right here, okay? So eight times six is going to be uh, 48, and 48 plus 10 is 58, which is over the budget. And so, so no, Nora couldn't buy six dollar party favors because $58 is not less than or equal to $50 right there. So why does an inequality represent Nora's budget calculation better than an equation? Well, Nora does not need to uh, uh, spend exactly $50, which means uh, that would be mean uh, we'd be using an equal sign if it was exactly. She can also spend less than that, so that's why it was less than or equal to the inequality. The solution set of an inequality consists of all values that make the statement true. Describe whole dollar amounts that are uh, in the solution set for this situation. So, so um, we couldn't do six dollars; that was over. We could do four dollars. Well, we could also do five dollars. So, so six dollars was over the limit because it gave us fifty-eight dollars. But five dollars would be eight times uh, five plus ten, and that's less than or equal to fifty. And then we found four dollars once, and so they want to know all the dollar amounts, the perfect dollar amount. So five dollars, four, three, two, or one on that one right there. 
All right, so you guys remember the distributive property, you guys? It talks about um, uh, real numbers, A, B, and C. They're all real numbers. A times the quantity B plus C, or if that's a minus also, it works for plus or minus. That's some Algebra 1 kiddos uh, the other day uh, thinking that uh, it works for division. It does not work for division. It only works for, or multiplication. It only works for addition or subtraction, okay? So it would be A times this and then A times that. A, B plus A, C right there, okay? We're going to use that in this problem here. Trina is buying 12 shirts for the drama club. She will choose a style for the blank shirts and then pay an additional charge of $2.75 for each shirt uh, to have the club logo. If Trina cannot spend more than $99, how much can she spend on each blank shirt? So write and solve an inequality to find the possible cost of the, each blank shirt. Okay, so we're going to let S represent the cost of each blank shirt, and we're going to write an inequality to represent that. Okay, so uh, each shirt is going to cost S dollars, and then for each shirt, we're going to put an additional $275 for the club logo, because the club logo goes each shirt's going to get that on there. So whatever the cost of the blank shirt is, is going to be adding the 275 right there. So the total cost of each shirt is S plus 275. Okay, now there's 12 shirts, so we're going to multiply that times 12. Okay, so that's where we're going to use the distributive property. And then it says we cannot spend more than $99, so that would be less than or equal to. So here's what we're going to solve right here. We're going to solve for S. Okay, so here we go. Use the distributive property. And then 12 times 2.75 is 33. Use the subtraction property, and when we subtract, we get 66. Now we're going to use the division property, and when we divide, we get 5.5. So S um, is going to be less than or equal to 5.5. Now remember, S was the cost of the shirt, so we can have a fraction. In fact, it's $5.50 or less than. So let's check our answer with the inequality right here, okay? All right, so since it's uh, less than or equal to 5.5, let's just try a smaller number like 5. So plug in 5 right here, and now let's just check it out. 5 plus 2.75 is 7.75. All right, and then 12 times that is 93. 93 is less than or equal to 99. So this was a good enough answer. So S is our cost, $5.50. So, uh, so Trina can order blank shirts that cost $5.50 or less, or no more than $5.50 on that. All right, all right, let's just wrap it up here. So write an inequality that represents each and then solve. Okay, so Dan has six A, more than six A's from last year, and the number of A's is going to equal A. So that just means A is uh, whoops, going to be greater than or equal to 6. I'm sorry, not equal to. Sorry, this should be greater than 6 right here. Let me fix that right there. My bad, as my students say. Okay, so the next one is going to be uh, let me, um, uh, twice a number, that's two times, twice a number z, so 2z is greater than 24, okay, so 2z is greater than 24, and then now uh, when you divide both sides by 2, you get z is greater than 12 right there, okay, let's try another one here, so 7 mo uh, more than 4 times a number is at most uh, 35, okay, more than is addition, so 7 more than, 7 plus, 4 times a number, we'll just call it 4x, 7 plus 4x, at most. So at most is going to be less than or equal to, okay? So we're going to do, um, and now we're going to do subtract off the 7 on both sides. And uh, now we're going to divide both sides by 4, and we get x is less than or equal to 7. So it said up here, write an inequality that represents that. It's 7 plus 4x less than or equal to 35. And then our solution is is x is less than or equal to 7. All right, if you guys are in my class, I would assign you probably that assignment right there. Hey, and if you can, don't forget to like the video and subscribe on my YouTube site. Take care.